Welcome back, Thrill Seekers. I don't know whether you know, but Russ Grease from open-source-energy.org is having a bit of a, a bit of a pulse motor off. Basically, uh, if you don't have anything to do with your spare time in the next couple of weeks, he's suggesting you enter a little bit of a, not a, I guess it's a competition, to make a pulse motor. So... I thought, well, I've got to clean up the bench anyway, so I may as well resurrect the Aussie motor with a twist. And the twist, basically, this time, is that it's using a rodent coil uh, as an air coil. And for those of you unfamiliar with the Aussie motor, it was designed by a bloke named Aussie Callanan from uh, overunity.com. You can find his uh, details there. But basically, we've got two reed switches. One is triggering a pulse in the coil. The other one is basically um, shorting the coil and collecting the collapsing uh, uh, wave back to the battery via a little uh, bridge rectifier there. This one's been running, oh, I guess that's the speed of that's probably about 250 RPM, something like that. It's not very quick. Um, I've got these little resistors in here, these little 22 ohm resistors basically just to protect uh, these pretty fragile reed switches and it takes a time a while to tune this bugger but once you get it tuned properly it it runs for ages um, and this is running on a 12 12 volt battery but it's been running for about 18 and a half hours now uh, when the when the uh, the run started, that battery was at 12.74. So you can see in 18 and a half hours of running, it's used 0.06 of a volt, so 6 millivolts. Uh, amp current draw, really hard to measure on this doodah. You can probably just barely make it out there. It's moving a little bit. So anyway, I really like this motor because it's a fun one to play with. It's a bugger to get those reeds tuned. Uh, but um, when you get it right, last time I had one of these running, it ran for about a week on a D-cell battery. So there you go. I put a scope shot up for you, but unfortunately the old Dell notebook, the, the shed computer, is um, having problems with the keyboard. And I can't log in to run my USB scope over it to show you the waveform. But uh, there you go. Hopefully you like that. And make sure you head over across to open-source-energy.org to join in the fun. Thanks, guys. Bye.